course. Hello everybody, welcome to the second round match of CCL Season 48 between Diomed and his Necromantic and Rick Reckless and his Kislev. In the booth with me is Dimmy G the champ. Hello! Hello Jimmy and this is El Clasico. Kislev versus Necro. We see this all the time. No, I'm joking. But... <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be like these. These are actually probably two of my favourite players to watch in Chalice, uh, just through play style. Like mm -hmm. Diomed is amazing. Like he's he's got a claw palm werewolf, which <laughs> he will use relentlessly. And uh, he, yeah, he had a he had a claw palm Rattoga one season, which he piled on with like every turn. It was amazing. <laughs> it was like amazing. It was so fun. Yeah. Uh, Sorry. Carry on. No, good. I was I was just gonna say that all I, I I love watching Rick play Kislev. There's something about Rick playing Kislev that I, I really enjoy as well. Yeah, it's it's a good team for Rick, isn't it? Rick is a bit of a dice roller, a bit carefree uh, when it comes to like risk mitigation and stuff. And Kislev obviously are kind of playing to that a bit. Um, not my cup of tea, Kislev, but there you go. <laughs> oh, they're painful. Yeah, they're painful like a thousand TV. But they're, well, they're good. They're pay yeah, they're good for somebody relentlessly optimistic. Oh, I'll just make this three plus, then this three plus, and then, <laughs> and then everything will be fine. Like it's great. But uh, whereas I'm like, oh my god, I've got to make a three plus. This is a f absolute fucking disaster. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like that's yeah. that's the difference. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Rick has got inducement wise. He's got a wizard and he's got a dirty player lineman. So there you go. So um, this this turn is like I, this is like Rick all over. Just like literally, right? I'm gonna screen off the ball from the rest of the team. I quite like this to be fair. Like I thought this was all, all good. Yeah. He does he, he does a lot of dodges. <laughs> yeah, does a lot of he's dodges. Got dodge, hasn't he? So it's fair enough. Yeah. What do you think of the induced um, dirty player Lino? Not a fan. <clears throat> Not a fan. I mean, it's obviously there for the werewolf. That werewolf is. I, I is like it... being more aggressive here from Rick. Um, uh, you could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? Uh, that's like that. still not a screen, though, is it? No, short no. But he could have GFI'd, and he could have uh, he could have cut the corner here, right? So he could have made a full. G he could have he could have GFI'd. Yeah, he could have yeah, cut yeah, the corner yeah, yeah. There And he could have had a screen <laughs> like not obviously an easy breakable screen. Right? It's a screen that gets smashed yeah. by a wolf anyway. Even if you do screen, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But like thing the thing was, he was doing a one in nine dodge there and like getting stuck. Like I did oh, quite like leaping over here and coming through there. Like in. even just getting here, even though it's not a screen. Oh, oh yeah, 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 with the leap. Yeah, I see, I see. I will defend. Bear stands up. That's uh, the werewolf. Yeah. By the way, this uh, claw palm werewolf is also niggled and AV bust. I think. Oof, brutal, <laughs> brutal. Yeah. I mean, that's the one downside of palming with a werewolf every turn is obviously it's going to get fouled at some point, <laughs> <laughs> and he's he's obviously taken two kicks in the head. <laughs> <laughs> at least. At least. Norway Jose, thank you very much for the sub. Uh, welcome to Team Fantastic. Glorious. Thank you very much. Look at this! Right, this wow. is a rowdy. Yeah, rowdy blitz that one. Because oh, he didn't want to, he didn't want a frenzy trap. Unbelievable. Yeah, because the because this guy was stunned. Was it, like this, this was honestly one of the most passive Diomed turns I've ever seen. That power there is horrendous as well. Like, it, I mean, it's great for Diomed, but it's like so sad for Rick. Yeah. So anyway, let's look oh. at the team. So we've got the claw pommer, we've got a bludge tackle, we've got stand firm there, we've got a block guard block. So it's. It's a bit of a bare bones necro team. Oh my oh, god! Oh, bare up. bones. He's, bare he went bones. there. He went there. Bare bones. But yeah, this was a very, very conservative turn from Diamond. Yeah, yeah. Together. This is this is probably the and that is not a conservative turn from Rick. Wow. <laughs> there we go. And he KOs him. Wow. And there's still two goals in this as well. Oh my Gets god! Him, doesn't break armor. Oh, this could be game. This could be game. The three, the three catches are ready to strike. The three amigos. Yeah, and the fourth really is right there, isn't he? He could. Uh... Yeah. The problem is the sidestep, I guess. So, so maybe you have to leap him here yeah. just to stop that sidestep square. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think I think we're gonna see that. Like that sure hands on this goal is amazing in this game, by the way, because of Rick strip baller as well. Mm -hmm. It's the full pow. <laughs> Steps towards the werewolf. Oh, he's caught! Oh, what a disaster! It's not that bad, is it? It's not that bad. He no, can, he can no, get a bit not. of a screen. It's, uh... it's better than him failing to pick it up with someone else, I guess. Oh, he's not going here. 
No, he's gonna he's gonna do two three pluses in an optimistic 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 <laughs> fashion. Optimistic. Oh. oh. <laughs> yeah, I, oh I was. Oh my god, I'm the double G. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Post reroll as well. Post reroll GFI. <laughs> I mean, obviously you had to do it anyway. Yes. But then if you ha if you have to do it, then why don't you stack it? You know, that's yeah, the thing. Yeah, stack them right? up. Yeah, just stack them up. You ain't got to reroll. You just go. Well, this is not easy, is it? For uh... it's not. It's a bit of a like. It's he, and he's he's lost his like star player, yeah. and uh, <laughs> he's got like a a screen of sorts. I mean, I'm surprised. Like, do you know what? I may have even dodged the werewolf there for blitz to yeah. for blitz for blitz on the sure hands. I think I would have blitzed the sure hands with the the wrestle wolf. <laughs> Oh, not well, sure. Removal from Diamond. Oh, yeah. Classic and it's, Diamond. And it's the guard as well, the guard lino. Yeah. Doesn't Apple Dude. that, Rick? Maybe he should have done. Yeah, well. Because, like, it's, it's you know, it's... It was a... Oh. Uh, here, here we go, Jim. Hurt, right? Here we go, Jim. Oh, that's the other guard lino. <laughs> okay, oh, that's minus strength. Oh, and the Apple works. Yeah, this was just badly I, hurt, though, wasn't it? So, yeah. yeah, but then like you could argue that the badly hurt is probably better to Apo, right? Because it's guaranteed, whereas the strength bust is um, fifty percent, right? Exactly. Yeah. So I, I would have been tempted to maybe just Apple that instantly because it's a guard. But um, yeah, but you know, like hard to say, isn't it? Like, because I think. I think it, it is really hard to say. It is yeah. hard to say. He's got three bench as well. That's the thing, right? Yeah. He's got the ball. He's got three bench. Hasn't got the wizard anymore. Yeah. Um, like, so he's probably thinking, like, because he's going to get the bench back, right? If he doesn't stall out for eight turns, which is probably unlikely at this stage, he's going to get, he's going to have, he's going to be back up to 11, right? And then get, probably the reason why he appos the second guard is because he wants the guard, right? Yeah, like, that I know is it's incredible. Like, I, I would, yeah, like, I would really want to keep the guards in, but then obviously you want to keep the catchers in as well. But it's, yeah. it's a funny team, this isn't it? Uh, you alluded to it at the start of the stream, but not on the YouTube video. Um, this was like made last in the last twenty four hours. It's unbelievable. It, like, it's unbelievable, really good. Uh, yeah. yeah, unbelievable. Like seventeen fifty or something in about twelve games. Like absolutely incredible. Uh, the yes, yeah. development of the team is, is unbelievable in such a short amount of time. Um, so yeah, it's actually pretty good. Oh wait, wait, wait! Whoa, 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 whoa! You missed it! You missed it! Oh, oh no, you didn't. No, wait. <laughs> There's gonna be some. Why oh, is he gonna dodge in for the surf? Yeah. Oh, it's gonna be mad. Yeah, that may, I mean that makes sense, doesn't it? This is this is pretty easy. It's his only short hands though, and uh, ghouls don't have regen, you know. Yeah, no, but like, it was a pretty easy surf, wasn't it? Like, if you dodge in. Oh, is that, is that, it's a, it's a. Oh, no, it's a six it, plus. Yeah, it's a six, because yeah, it's a tight, yeah. I mean, plus. like, but 30%, oh, the six. 30%, and if you make it, you surf him, don't you? Yeah, but like, it's just the, it's just the, if you lose the goal. If you lose the goal and you lose your short hands. Yeah, that's really bad losing the short hands, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, like, which is. I mean, it's. Yeah, I, I don't think I would have. That wouldn't have been my direct line of play, I don't think. But, you know, I, I can see, yeah, obviously, if he serves him, it's good. Yeah, I mean, having your, having your sure hands, guy, isn't that good if you just lose, is it? You know, like, if you, you know, he's already turned you over. I mean, yeah, he's but he's used, so. used the wizard, though. So, like, are you that bothered? Like, you make this 1 1 at half time. I'm pretty and, bothered, uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean,. I don't know, like he gets the bang on him and stuff. Like, I still think this Necro team is good enough, and like without Rick's Wiz, it's uh, it's gonna be really tough for Rick to. I guess it's yeah. It, I guess worst case scenario is DMS scores and Rick goes in at one one and a half, right? Yeah. And then best case scenario, DMS I mean, doesn't score. Yeah, sorry, that's the best case scenario for Diamond. So yeah, I think I yeah. think risking the ball carry to get the surface is totally worth it, to be honest. Like, yeah, Rick's no joke, is he? And his team is no joke. Like, it's, uh, you know, if yeah, this was somebody a bit shit and if there was less guards, then I would feel more confident of winning a normal, like, uh, thing. But it's yeah, bad. yeah. Being 1 0 down is pretty bad. Yeah, Clawpon Wolf is out, and that is why he's not pomming this bear right now. <laughs> yeah. If it, 
if, if, if the claw pom wolf was there, that would have been him. Yeah, the good thing about ghouls is they're like finished after like block or wrestle, aren't they? So like they don't. Yeah, 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 ghouls, yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, you've just got to have the right. You've just got to have the right. Uh, the right attitude with ghouls. That, you problem know, that, yeah. Them. The problem is with ghouls though is the uh, like it's having so many players that you need to protect. Like it's, it's a problem with most teams, isn't it? Like, but when you've got a killer white, right? You've got a killer white. You've got three ghouls. Um, well, two ghouls because it's necro. Like, mm. you want to protect the white, you want to protect the ghoul, you want to protect the other ghoul. Like, but that's the thing. You just don't have to protect the ghouls. That's the thing. If if you like that, so like in a way, this strength up guard one is like a bit of a shit ghoul because he's not disposable. You know, like it's it's like yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. So it's counterintuitive, isn't it? It's like yeah, it's it's like witch elves, right? You know, I I always like making them star players with block, you know, and then like build them up, stack star, stack SPPs on them, like have them really good players. And uh, can't remember his game now, but his game can't remember his name now. There was somebody uh, who who just used to like give them wrestle and then just finish them, just use them completely disposable. And that's yeah. pretty good in a way because you've already got four blitzers that you want to skill up and get loads of SPPs on. So you know, if you concentrate on your four blitzers as the stars and then just have your witch elves as disposable wrestlers it's actually a pretty good strategy so, yeah that's the thing wrestle jump up ball sack is pretty amazing and then like, movement seven as well so it's, mm, like, it's just so, like even one, one skill just, yeah that's a pretty good skill yeah i love it i i love it probably a bit too much to be honest <laughs> maybe <laughs> <laughs> I, like, my favorite player in blood bowl is a rackle beastman I, like, <laughs> <laughs> honestly <laughs> It's my favourite player. <laughs> oh, it'd be a shame if he dies. <laughs> yeah. Always devastated when the Rackle Beast Beastman died. <laughs> my favourite player. Oh, it's like it's 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 when you when you get a Wrestle Lino though. It's like it's oh. like you've made it. You've made yeah. it. It's a hell of a player, isn't it? A Wrestle Kizler player is like... It's, it's insane. It's he's insane. about the best sacker in the game. Like, it's stupid, isn't it? But it's true. Oh, what a, what a bad block. Honestly, you've got uh, these three players to move. You've got three turns to score. Then nothing else is happening. Like, you know, you're not yeah. going this side. So move these guys up first. But then Rick steps onto the white. Yeah. I guess he just wants... I mean, the white was kind of tied up anyway, because he would have had to dodge because of the tackle, right? So, mm. well, I guess I guess it stops him punching the tackle guy. Yeah. But then he just gets his catcher punched. Mm. But he's got dodge. Rick's a great yeah. believer in blodge sometimes. Blodge sometimes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> More, more than I am. I feel like if I've got a blood player, he'll get powered. <laughs> oh, well, this is right. Oh, hang on. What got, got here? Good guards in. Uh... Second guards in. Tackle it goes in. Oh my God, Rick dies. He's made it. He's made it. It's the pow. I wonder if it was better to hit from there, from the size to the size to mate, the back. It's got two catches there as well. Oh my god. Ah, oh, diving. Does diving catch work on a scatter like that? It doesn't, does it? No, no. So it only it's only if it's like a kick or a pass, is it? Yeah, it's a, so not on a fumble. Or intercepts either. <laughs> Doesn't work oh. on intercepts. <laughs> they don't get like extra. Yeah. They don't get extra range on intercepts. Yeah, throw-ins, yeah, I guess so. No, maybe, yeah. Yeah, maybe throw-ins. Oh, I don't know. I've shown my ignorance on the subject. I was going to say, like, what if what if it's a fumble into a throw-in? Yeah, I don't know about throw-ins. But then what if you pass it out of bounds versus... <laughs> <laughs> like, wasn't there, wasn't there a bug in Blood Bowl 2 where if you passed it out, it, the ball never came back or something like that? I don't know. It's bugged uh -huh. anyway. They, they uh, are bugged, just not programmed correctly. Uh, rather than bugged, they probably, you know, they don't know the rules. Ah, uh, right. Um. Oh, yeah, Blitz. Yeah, well, that's, a, that's a kick, isn't it? Oh, my God, it won't let me just... It won't let me hover over it. Here we go. 
Any pass, kick off, or crowd throwing? There you go. Oh, it is. Uh, I knew that. Yeah, so did I. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. So, is this a double GFY for the zombie to complete the cage? What, yeah, what he, he could have done is he could have blocked, couldn't he, and then chained the chained the ghoul out, and then one, two, three, four. <gasps> Seven and then one GFI from the ghoul. Well, no, that's not far enough though, because he's. Is it far enough? It, it, it is guy, far yeah, enough. Yeah, 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 it is. Yeah. Now you can just dodge away with them and get there, which is pretty good. Yeah. Imagine making a dodge with the ghoul. See, I would just be trying to ma not make a dodge. <laughs> and then meanwhile, Rick's just like three leaps in. <laughs> hey, gen genuinely, I think. Like, this is the most conservative I've ever seen DMA play. Like, yeah. I mean, you've got to play pretty conservative against Kislev, haven't you? That's the it's a nightmare, thing. yeah. Absolute nightmare. Interesting I team, though, Kislev, aren't they? Like, to play with against and, play and against, as, yeah. Because you know, they've just got so many options every turn. Like, that's the thing, like, when when you're playing some, when you're playing as Kislev and you're playing someone new, you know that they've, like, they've not just, they've just not had enough exposure to Kislev yeah. because they don't. They don't know what they're capable of, you know. <laughs> yeah. Right. Right. It's, it's, like, do you like that chain push to stop yeah. the GFI? Yeah. I do. And then, like, if it's a push into a push, then he's not based anyway because he just pushes him to the left. Yep. Yeah. If if Gdynik's opponent had done that in Chalice, he would have uh, he would have beaten him. Last uh, season. yeah. <laughs> Can't Point remember who it was. No, it's Washburn, I think. Washburn, yeah, that's correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, of course it's correct. I'm the quiz pit champ, Jimmy. I'm the quiz pit champ. I just love the kill on correct. Correct. <laughs> he said he had to stop using correct because it made him sound like a mother. Yeah, yeah, that's why I like saying it because it's funny. <laughs> I oh, it's because he's, 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 he was a teacher, wasn't he? Yeah. 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 That's it, correct. And then something about the Swarm Lord, I can't remember. Oh, God, yes. Yeah, something about the Swarm Lord. Right. Well. 1-1. One, one. So now if Rick just uh, bangs it in. Is that what you do, Jim? Yep. You just bang it in, do you? Yep. Quick as you can. Get it over with. Rip the band aid off. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> Super interesting. Mm. What do you make of this setup, Jim? From the Necro? Um, yeah. Not Chevron's. Yeah, well, it's, it's a one turn, isn't it? Oh, right. Oh, it is, yeah. I mean, he's got three stand firm, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, it's weird, isn't so, it? Just put everyone else so like, line. Or Chevron for the riot, right? Yeah, Chevron for the riot, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, super interesting. Oh my god, the super interesting Kalon is funny as well. Oh, that was really interesting, that, Jim. <laughs> 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 Diving catch, oh baby. Love what a, a skill. Of, love a bit of divine catch. What a skill. It's probably the best skill in the game, isn't it, when you think about it? What would you say is the, what would you say is the best free skill outside of block or dodge? Free. Well, you know, like, no, actually, yeah. Like, you know, like a blitzer, like for Burt's, comes with Dauntless. Why do you mean so fucking obsessed like, that's a free with skill in my opinion, about to go so. on holiday and, and like you can't hmm. even fucking qualify. With I know you pay TV uh, for it. Yeah. Side yeah. more fucking maths. What the fuck? Yeah, and I guess it's just blocking that much fucking dodge and tackle. Jesus anyway, yeah. Yeah. Side step on elf, elf blitzers is pretty good, isn't it? Even though they pay 10k for it. <laughs> if you want to call that free, <laughs> horns for a. Uh, for Beastman, even though we paid 10k for it, if you call that uh, free, it's pretty good. <laughs> Horns is pretty good. Horns yeah. is pretty good, to be fair. Nerves of Steel. No one takes Nerves of Steel, do they? Like, no, like, I can't think of any positional like, I take Nerves of Steel on, but it's pretty great when you have it. <clears throat> yeah. 
foul appearance is like something nobody would ever take really and that that, that can be crucial can it sometimes Oh, it's a nightmare when you're playing against Nurgle and it's like they've got the full warrior spread and the beast and it's the whole place is covered with it. <laughs> Sprint for Woody Catch is very good, Steve. <laughs> I was thinking of Tobin Presence and I want one, one noob. Yeah, yeah. foul appearance, uh, the old fart sound. Yeah, the old fart sound. It can be really good, like, but it's just... Oh, it's yeah, when you, when you, when you, when you like, do three in a row and you're just like, oh my god, yeah. like, my whole team's going to die now. Yeah, I, do you know what? I will, I will never forget playing Endzone, who is one of the best players on Fumble and therefore the world, I guess. And uh, I, we had a Nurgle mirror, and I re-rolled foul appearance twice and double, double one bit both times. Love and catch. What'd you make of this setup, Jim? I think it's shit. Because mm. I think Rick wants to score in two, so you're not really stopping him. From the sideline. Uh, so it should just be chevrons, right? Uh, yeah, I, I would have just chevrons. Yeah. And you can put stand firmers on the outside as well. Yeah. Uh, strength four stand firmers as well. I guess he comes through the middle pretty nicely. I mean, I could see taking Foul Appearance's last skill on a Chaos Carry if you only roll normals, right? Because you just don't get a lot of good normals. You get Block, see, Sure Hands, Tackle, Two Heads. So you could take Foul Appearance. I, I think that DP Lino should be where that catcher is, the Strip Ball Catcher. And that Strip Ball Catcher probably needs to go to right of the catcher. Ooh. Ooh, one oh, 1D in the DP. Where oh. was the DP? The DP should have moved, shouldn't he? He should have just moved. Yeah. Sure. I think the DP should be where the stripper catcher is, and then that stripper catcher should be two right of the guard one and one up. Yeah, 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 I like that. Like. I like it. That's the edit voice you did there. <laughs> I just back some. Bye now! <laughs> <laughs> Bye now! <laughs> 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 Armor up is pretty strong on Chaos Carriers. Someone said that. Yeah, was it you? You were talking about it yesterday with Hancock and uh, Kalon, you know, the AV up ball carrier. Is it a Chaos AV up ball carrier? I've got no idea. Oh, did, or am did, I somebody, just... did somebody have it, did they? On their team? Oh, I'm, I'm imagining things. Maybe we cast it again that somebody had it. Or like maybe it's Nick played somebody who had it. I imagine Nick played somebody who had it because, you know, American time zones. <laughs> He's been playing on European time zones recently, though, hasn't he? Yeah, he lost every game, though, didn't he, when he was playing in European He, he did lose a few, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he did lose a few. Yeah. Oh, Dio's stream. Yeah, oh, Dio must have sniped him there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I remember the player with a double move up in the middle, though. It was pretty funny. <laughs> bear not being irrelevant. Yeah, glorious bear. Totally relevant, Bear. Offend. Bend. OP. Yep, keeps him. Well, stun, it, stun his knife there. Very really nice. Really nice. Oh, uh, these snakes. No, it's not a snake because he's got tackle, right? Yeah, well, maybe he's just <laughs> left there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, genuinely, maybe he just like leapt to here, so they, and then it would have added an extra GFI, but it would have, it would have, you know, an extra dodge, but it would have made him his fails better there, so he couldn't, couldn't get pinned in as easily potentially. Yeah. I guess he can leap away anyway if someone tries. Yeah, to I, I, yeah, I don't think he's gonna. Yeah. Side step. Side step. That. Is he gonna palm? Yeah, obviously. Do you what? Bet? Oh my god! You yeah, like, yeah. I mean, that was the like. Actually, you Diamond not bombing. Yeah, I mean, the problem is now is they're at that sort of point in the game where is if Rick scores like anywhere around now, it's really bad. Well, obviously, if Rick scores, it's bad for Diamond. But like, because yeah. he hasn't two turned it, like obviously we're eating into Necro's score back. Yeah. 
And if he poms, he's only got one werewolf effectively for the rest of the well for the next couple of turns because he'll be so far. Off. No, yes, uh, I know that. I mean, it's just it's just yeah. it's Diamed, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's really, Diamed. Yeah, I really a hundred percent expected a pom there. To be fair, yeah, I, I was a little bit sad when he didn't. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the bear! Oh no! Oh, no. very relevant, but in a bad way. Oh my god! Yeah. That's it. That's it. It's done. GG. Stupid bear. With me, guys. Hello, Tim. Hello, uh, Ripperino. Mate, two heads is like my favourite non-claw mutation. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. But that's only because chaos come with horns already, I guess. Yeah, horns is pretty good. <laughs> horns is yeah, blanket horns is crazy. Not crazy enough though, they're still going to be struggle in 2020, I guess. Yep, absolutely. Knocks him down. So what's this? Is this strength 4 goal? Yes. Or... <laughs> yes, it's, it has to be the strength 4 goal. Or is he going to dodge through the sure hands? Oh yeah, I guess he could. It has to be the strength 4, isn't it? Double dodge as well, yeah. Yeah. Best animation in the game there. Punching mm -hmm. air. Yeah, Stunning well, your opponent. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, I don't like this. I think you get this guy here, don't you? So, oh my god, yeah. he's, moved, he's moved the strength four. Okay, I guess it's a pretty good spot for the strength four. Yeah, so this is dodge. Oh, oh, oh right. Oh, yeah, dodge. single yeah. dodge, yeah. Oh, and then he feels the fuck of the well, if you've gone that way, then this guy could have still gone one, two, three, four and gone like... Yeah, no, yeah. Oh, he could have gone behind him, yeah. Yeah. And then, like, instead of, like, because it's just a free plus. Well, they're stunned, I guess. But just quietly, if he did pick it up with the goal, he would have actually picked it up as well. <laughs> the strength one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. He rolled a six on the dodge. Yeah. That was, uh. I, I understand that one in it on sure hands, though. Especially because yeah. the stripper's there as well. Yeah. And then, because it, it, obviously you don't you don't want to take the guard away from being guard, do you? So. Yeah. The strength of <clears> carrier isn't that good. It's a test the guard sucks. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, he froze it to him. I'm guessing, like, the reason he froze it to him is because he's going to hand off. Because why would you not just hand it off to him? But then, I was thinking about that because if you hand it off to him, you're based on the claw mighty blow wolf. But then what's bad about that? I thought about this quite a lot, this bit. Like, why wouldn't you hand it off rather than pass it and then dodge? I don't think it really yeah, matters. Yeah, because the, hand, the handoff is a 3+, plus and the pass is a 2-2. Two, two because of diving catch. Ah. Uh... And 2-2 two, two is better than 3. But then wouldn't you want wouldn't you want that wolf based? Well, I mean, maybe I don't know how far he went, but maybe. But oh no, I guess I guess he's got like he can dodge someone else out, can't he? To tag it. Yeah. But yeah, rolling that snake is horrendous. Yeah. Catchers and snakes. Catchers only roll snakes, lads. I'm telling you, kids live catchers. Yeah, it was a very poor decision from Rick to roll snakes. <laughs> yeah, and he would have been away. Like he would have been pretty nicely away there as well. Because I don't think there's any obvious hits bar in the the golem. No. Oh, and the werewolf. Well, we'll know because the catcher would be there, right? The catcher would be, I'm assuming, one square to the right of the side stepper. Yeah. And obviously one square behind. <laughs> Is there a word for like diagonal back right? <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, diagonal back right, I guess. <laughs> like, like there, there should be a word for it, isn't it? Like on the the quatrex, which is I don't know. Like, <laughs> you know, quatrex. I don't know. Yeah, he should have been on the quatrex. Like, yeah, like. It's... There we go. We've got a word for it now. <laughs> quatrex. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what. That, that's, the... that's my next blood bowl team. The quatrex. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Oh yeah, you could, you could use the medical terms of like distal and medial and all that kind of thing, couldn't you? Yeah, well what, what, so what would that, it would be like, what, four o'clock on his four o'clock? Yeah, I guess. Snakes, snakes, another dodge. Oh, southwest, yeah. Uh, well, it'd be south, yeah. 
southwest there. Yeah, the posterior, the distal posterior cage corner yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. How good would that be? <laughs> oh, don't nobody tell Dio. <laughs> 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 I, like, I like the quadrix square though. Oh yeah, the quadrix. <laughs> right on the quadrix is brilliant. <laughs> wow, this, this is this match is crazy just quietly. Like the last few turns have been mental, just, haven't they? Rick's just failed everything, mate. Well, like I say, he failed everything. He just one D powder blodger. Yeah, um, like he's made he's made a bunch of stuff as well. Yeah. Yeah, but like it's just it's so disappointing when it's a one in thirty six, right? Yeah. Like failing a one in thirty six is so bad. It, like I, I can imagine the only thing worse is triple skulls, right? Yeah. Or like, or like obviously both downs if you've not got block. Yeah, exactly. Like it was about a one. It was about a one in eighteen from the uh, bear, wasn't it? With the uh, one in nine and then the lone affair. But like, yeah, like quads or anything. It's, it's, like snakes is not bad, is it? It's just the same as double skulls. It's not. Yeah. It's not that unlucky. Like obviously, it's not great when it happens to you, but. It's gonna happen, isn't it? Oh, it, yeah, absolutely. And it will happen way more often than it feels like it should. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it feels like it should happen never. That's, yeah, that's the thing, isn't it? And it will happen a lot. Yeah. It'll happen about one in thirty-six times. Yeah. Well, Tell Staff Eric that when he uh, did the geofire and the end zone, you know. Yeah. Wouldn't have even bothered, mate. <laughs> <laughs> So he's got a guard in here. Who's the? Oh, he's he's gonna dodge leap the wrestler. Well, the, the thing is, the thing is. Oh no, he just runs around, right? Okay, yeah. so the one do. Yeah, I guess they're both down there. Do you re-roll that, Jim? Um, I wouldn't, because it's uh, yeah. the best case is overtime, isn't it? Well, but then no, you can just gonna... score. Yeah. And you've only got one re-roll left as well. Though. That's the thing as well for it. Yeah, but you're just gonna lose. It looks like yeah. So yeah, maybe maybe that should have been a reroll. But regarding one in thirty six, is nah, and it shouldn't once per game because the the thing is with it like being a three percent chance, it's pretty easy to happen like more or less than. Yeah. That, isn't it? Like how many? How many? Like I've played tabletop blah blah, and I tell you what, you roll a ton of dice. Like yeah. e even if you're playing conservatively, like you roll. A lot, like all the block dice, and then the armor dice, and all that sort of thing. It's like you you roll in like probably a hundred dice a game, like minimum, like I'd say. Mm, so that, yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting to know actually. Mm. I, I I couldn't be I couldn't be bothered to sit there and count like because it already takes so long. <laughs> yes. I have, have a little tally chart next to how many times you rolled a dice. Next time you play somebody who you think is going to beat you, uh, make, be sure to like say, oh, I'm just going to record all of the dice rolls because I really need to know. And then, and then you win the toss, receive, and then make your drive last an hour and a half. And then... <laughs> oh, look. Yeah, but the problem is, Jim, is I don't think anyone's going to beat me. <laughs> hey. <laughs> God, I, that, I hate that. Like, the, I hate all the games and shit like that in, in Fortnite yeah. and football and everything. I despise it. What was this? This is the old tackle guy. Yep, two guards. Double key. Oh, he's only gonna power him, Jim. But He's only gonna fall Not heavy, out. broken. But can he reach with this guy? Oh, the bear! The bear scoring threat. <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> oh fuck me, that's so Rick. Yeah, but right, look, look, he stays here. Why wouldn't you dodge the dirty player, Lino? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You... And then, like, is he not dodging him because he doesn't want the white to tag the bear because the bear's like a realistic <laughs> scoring threat? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah like... you have to, you have to, you have to get him. Yeah. Oh my God, Le Double goals. Le Double. And now it's just two into two with tackle. Yes. Gets a push. Uh, and a both down. Oh yeah, both down. Because he would push him close at the close at the bear, and he doesn't want to, he doesn't want to leave the bear pass on. <laughs> <laughs> 
Wait, in Rick's chat, Diomed was like, I think Diomed streams, and I think he was streaming this, and he said, like, to Rick, like, in his chat, like, they're all going, like, go bear, go bear. But yeah, he should have left him down, shouldn't he, Rick? Uh, it's a geofire though as well, isn't it? So it's it's got a cat like so. What is it? It's like whatever the pass is. It's like a four. Is it? A, it's a five plus catch, right? Yeah. And it's a two plus for bonehead, and uh, it's a two plus for. Oh man! Oh man! Makes the oh. pass. Oh! It slips out at the last second. <laughs> That's incredible. The bear is an edge too, dog to the dog. Uh, even it's, Rick it, doesn't give his bears plus edge. <laughs> it's, it's a crocs. It's a crocs. Yeah, it's a yeah. Crocs is that edgy one. Yep. Imagine a bear was edgy bloody t like too. You'd be dodging it everywhere. Yeah. It's amazing, like how like. I don't know, like, if, if you had, like, a player like that, you'd probably dodge more. Confused. Is the Rogue Reggie too, is it? I don't know. I yeah, never. It is, yeah, yeah, moves I, I, much too. I honestly. I think I've played with a Rogue like five times. Mm. They're fun, but they just kill themselves all the time, and then it's really sad. Yep. I think they're a good boost though at team creation for a little bit, you know, it gives, gives you a bit of an angle at your team, mate. Yeah, mate. I just I played Rookie Chaos today, and I, I spun like I I won my first game. My second game was against ten two two humans, and I was just like, I know, I know. My second game, like on a Rookie Chaos team, was against ten two two humans, and then uh, I I just induced the Mino because I never take the Mino, and I tell you what, I had loads of fun. I had like, I had loads and loads of fun with the Mino, like because it wasn't absolutely terrible, which I kind of expected it to be. There's there's always that one game in like seven where the big guy is just outrageous, isn't it? And they just have yeah. like the game, their game and they're like. But there's just the six games where they're absolutely garbage. Yeah. And probably lose you the game or get you a draw instead of a win. Yeah. Well, this is pretty grim, isn't it, for Rick? Out of re rolls. Out of re rolls gets two, two. Was that two catches he got by there? I think it might <laughs> Yeah, no re-rolls is massive, but for yeah. kids there as well, because he's got to roll dice and he and it's like... He lost the toss. And two guards are out. He's only got one guard left. Yeah, he's got 11 though, which for this stage of the game is pretty amazing, to be honest. Yeah, it's pretty unbelievable. It's pretty unbelievable. It is. It is. Like, if you tell Rick you'd be going into overtime with 11 players, don't tell him about the re-rolls. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'd probably be pretty happy. Yeah, I mean, I think he'd want to win before then, though, right? Like, you've got to feel like... Yeah, especially with a wizard. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, even if you get, like, even getting to overtime with a full team, something's what do you think? if you've drawn. What do you think of the early wizard as well? Like, because the other, the other alternative is if he plays the first half and he just backs off and screens, backs off and screens, backs off and screens, and then wizards, like, turn five or turn six. Yeah, and, the, yeah, that... A bit late, the wizard is, can be much more effective, can't it? Because they haven't got time. Yeah, to and it, like obviously, the the more pressure that they feel to score, like the more loose they are with their positioning and stuff. Yeah. Like I just, I just feel like a wizard turn three. Like I mean, I'm always really, I feel like I'm always overly critical of wizards and stuff. But like I'm, I'm probably like the stingiest wizard man. Ever. Yeah, and there, there, you know the thing is, there were two ghouls under it, and, and Rick is a great believer. Yeah, in, yeah and the claw pommer as well. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah. Rick's a great believer in like the earlier you wizard, like it can remove players, and then like you know, like obviously not just a dumb, not a dumb uh, attrition like wizard, but like yeah, yeah. An but early I mean, in wizard my, in my... For position, it has got that upside as well, right? It could, it could be removed with that, like the strength four ghoul, whatever for the match and stuff like that. I didn't pom the bear. Wow. wow. What? Who is this guy? This is not DMS. <laughs> but um, yeah, I was I was gonna say like, cause like, imagine being able to actually turn him over without even using the wizard and scoring, and then you've got the wizard, and then you look insane. Yeah. Like. But you know, I remember yeah, against Sindane and his orcs. I had a really good 
ball sack, and I, I considered using the wizard to like you know just totally guarantee that they could win. Yeah. And then well not the win the score, and then I didn't because I thought well I can still probably do it without it, you know. And then I ended up not doing it, and then get my team removed in like over the course of the next two two games. Yeah. Like, Shit, I guess I should have put in the wizard as well. So like, it's just hard to say, uh, isn't it? It's really and then, hard and to it, say. And then it like just plays on your mind the whole rest of the game. You're just like yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the massive issue for Ricky was no re-rolls, which is obviously yeah. no fault of his own, because he was in loads of trouble, wasn't he? Yeah. I mean, the fact that he's actually scraped it back to this is pretty amazing as well. I don't think I've given him enough credit for... Because once, once the ball got, once the bear did the one in nine and he got sacked and like the ghoul picked up the ball, I was like... Yeah, it was over, wasn't it? The game was over. Yeah. He did well to, uh, to battle Poor back into it and, and get to overtime. And now if you roll some dice again, he can win, but it's hard now because so much guard. And, and obviously Diamond's got the two reroll advantage, so... He yeah, can, he doesn't he, even he really need to score. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He can, he's, he's, you know, if, if, if he was down, if he was on zero and Rick was on two, then he's got to maybe expose the ball, you know, in a dangerous way to get the score, whereas now he can just, he can just turtle, can't he? The more games I've watched, the more to... I've been convinced holding on for more perfect wizard yeah. usually doesn't happen. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I mean, like, it's, yeah, the wizard is always a massive, like, it depends what happens with the wizard, doesn't it? <laughs> if yeah. it's a good wizard, like, it doesn't really matter what it is, I guess. But the earlier you use it, it's, it's got more potential to be better the earlier you use it, right? Because if yeah. it causes anybody, then you would rather Kaz on turn one than turn eight. Yeah, That's but then versus versus a player playing differently because they're trying to defend against the wizard though for the whole game. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, that, that, that's more intangible, isn't it? Whereas if you know if if you if you bolt on tur if you bolt on turn ten and and Kaz the strength four ghoul, you could have done that on turn three. You know, <laughs> so like it, yeah, it, that is a you know it was it was Rick that made me. Consider that I didn't really consider that aspect of it until Rick said it on a stream one time, and it's it's a good point really. The earlier you use it, and like it's a valid point, yeah, it's yeah. a valid point. Yeah, it's pretty pretty good. And point. like yeah, like you say, two ghouls, two ghouls under that, and the werewolf like Yeah, there was some real good upside from the attrition. Like upside attrition is something to be considered. Like obviously not just doing nutrition wizard. You should never do just yeah, nutrition wizard. Yeah. That is insanely stupid. But um, you should consider. You should factor in in your equity assessment the uh, the removal potential. Yeah. PV rating. Well, yeah. You know, you think if like if 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 you're gonna hit, you know, like here, like a fireball here, especially when you've got this guy on the quadrex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I love it. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> so good. <laughs> I guess it's just back right, isn't it? It's just back right. Yeah, I guess that's what it is, yeah. 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 Oh man. Quite trick sounds better. It does, yeah. The anterior distal thing. Oh man, I, can't, I I learned that a little bit because I thought you know that lad who was doing the refereeing. He like he was doing oh, yeah. sports science or something, and uh, and he, he he lent me one of his books, and I, and I was gonna I was gonna learn about you know like the different things and that, and I I I only read like you know the first little bit, and that had about like you know all of the names like for the parts of the body like you know anterior and. Posterior and distal and proximal and all this kind of bollocks. And like, oh, all right. So, yeah, that would have turned me off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, away. that turned me off straight away. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah that was it. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> I didn't get further than that. I was like, right, that's that's enough for me. But at least now I know when they say an anterior cruciate ligament, that, it, that means it means like, you know, it's the front part is anterior. <laughs> Oh, is it? Yeah, because like posterior is like, you know, ass. It's, it's in your knees, isn't it? The cruciate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But, so that's, like... what, that's what was wrong with Van Persie when he first tried to sign for Man United, wasn't it? Most people, it's the it's the ACL, isn't it? That, that is like, that's a, super common in like sports, all, all sports. ACL is, is, the big, is the big injury they get. 
That's what happened to uh, Tom Espinel. Tommy Espinel. Gets the pow on the blitz. <laughs> Dirty Dino. Yeah, Frontieria and Bacteria, basically, yeah. <laughs> See, and when then, you say bac bacteria, though, I always think of germs, like... Well, yes, I mean, because nobody would say bacteria. It, that's posterior, is like the back. And, oh. and anterior is the front. And then proximal is nearer to the centre of the body, and distal is further away. So why is he... is he... is he gonna... why is he is that pushing right? up there? I think that's right. Oh, he's just staying? Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't have to go, does he? He doesn't have to go. Just keep keep guards on each corner. You don't have to go if you don't have to. So just stick around. As Arnie would say. Yeah, give him a bit of support. This is fine, like it doesn't have to do anything. I think this is this is fine from Diamond. This is the bit that I've seen to be fair, the I saw it pretty much the yeah. time. But I mean Rick could have done this in the first half and had the wiggles. I don't know, like yeah, it's, it's tough, isn't it? It's, tough. it's yeah, it's and I, I, I don't know. Like, it'd be interesting to see how it played out. To be Rick fair. likes rolling dice, though, doesn't he? So like, it's, you know, it's <laughs> it, the way he's, yeah. And he always had the chance of this going for the one day. And like, the problem is when he did it, he was going to expose himself. But then if he doesn't do it, he's probably just going to lose anyway, right? So he's kind of got to do it at some point. Yeah, but I might as well do it now. I wouldn't criticise him for it. <laughs> but um, it's funny because like, yeah. yeah, it's funny because Rick and I are obviously pretty, pretty different when it comes to like play style and stuff. Oh, polar opposites. Right? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> um, so, so I do think like I don't like his level. So I do think his level suit him, and you know, so maybe his like style of even a bit riskier and a bit not caring about fail states as much. Is you know it does suit him. Uh, how, how many games of Kislev have you actually played? Oh, about two. <laughs> I've played against them a fair bit. <laughs> there you go. One in one in CCL, and a couple in the in the in like you know the when they were coming out. I played a couple like not in CCL. Uh, that one you played in CCL, did you concede? <laughs> I know, it's a draw, look. It's a draw. Oh, is it? Mm. Uh -huh. I should not concede. <clears throat> but it never played them again, that was enough for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I did it as a joke or something. You know. Hilarious joke, I yeah. still haven't played Underworld, so that's good. Doesn't clear the, uh, the wrestle. Makes the dodge, though. Yeah, I played a lo loads of bounce. <laughs> oh, if I was oh. good. That could be critical. It could be, because now the handoff to the wolf is on, isn't it? One in nine to win again. Yeah. Yeah, maybe Rick shouldn't have dodged off the wolf uh, to make that screen, you know? Like maybe he should have left him on the wolf and then moved the others or whatever. For us. Oh, that's being a bit picky, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think. Well, maybe you kill. Sure. I, I don't think you have to be. I don't think you have to be rowdy to play K's eleven vamps. But I think they probably suit somebody who's rowdy. You know, like in the same way like Skaven do. Like I just think yeah. those kind of dice rolling teams do kind of suit dice rollers. But you don't have to be a dice roller to play them. Like, you can still play them, you know, conservatively. It's I mean, I'd a, say, like, K5 rolls a fair few dice as well, he doesn't does, he? Like, yeah, he does, yeah. yeah. He's, play, he's playing loads of kids over on tabletop at the moment. Or he, he did this, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, like, it's interesting because, like, you know, if, if you don't roll the dice, you're not getting as much out of them as you could, isn't it? Is like, the thing, right? You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. So, like, because it's not just the threat of, like, the wizard and stuff. It is the actual impact. So, like... If you if you if you're just like not moving your vampires because you don't want to roll bloodlust and like being dead conservative with them, then you're not getting the payoff of having the strength four edge four guys that can tear oh yeah, yeah exactly. to shreds. So it is it is it's super interesting. Yeah, it is super interesting. <laughs> well, maybe not. Wow, oh, wow. correct, correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, twenty three AV breaks to four. That's a pretty standard Diamond versus Rick game, I guess. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Congrats, Diamond. Commiserations, Rick. Um, 
yeah, the, yeah, the loner. Like I don't know, I don't know what Rick could have done that turn, but like obviously you don't expect. But it's still pretty, pretty realistic to roll the one in nine. So I guess, I guess Rick should have, you know, made it a worse. Because the problem is, right? You've got like it's all pros and cons, isn't it? So if you, if you do get the ball safe first, then you're not getting as big payoff. And I guess Rick wanted to crack that hole and go through it, right? And so. So you know he what he need he felt he needed the payoff of taking the risk first, which is which is fair enough, and it's like that's totally fair. Yeah. And I don't think that is about play style at all. I think that's just like an individual game thing where I could definitely make the same play as Rick and those kind of bases. It's just that he's much more comfortable, you know, doing a leap in for a ball sack than I am, and like you know, so those kind of turns we're gonna we're gonna change we're gonna disagree a lot on. But things like that where it's like you know saving the ball carry and you know just hope you don't want in one in eighteen, and then if you make it you can get through. Then we probably both probably do more similar things in those situations. That's the thing, and you'll never you never know which one's better because. You can never like replay the same game because the, the minute you do something that's different from him, it's different, you know. So it kind of it's weird. Sorry, I, I went a bit over the top there. <laughs> Ninety-eight blocks. No, 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 no. Pom pylon, isn't it? Or something. No, that's oh, a V breaks. It fend fend makes for additional blocks, but Rick didn't have any fend, and obviously frenzy gets you more. <clears throat> but there's a bug with Fen counting double. But yeah, yeah, Rick and there, there is, yeah, this was like twenty-three turn game as well. Though, it was, fair. yeah. So it's more like seventy blocks, but um, still yeah, pretty high. Yeah. There's a lot of blocks. Um, so there you go. Anyway, thank you very much, Dimmy. Absolutely glorious as always. Yeah, mate. I I I love like keep an eye out for Diamond because like that wasn't his rowdiest game. Like watch his last one. <laughs> um, he's he's gonna be fun to watch. I think. He he's gonna play uh, someone um, scary next round anyway, so mm. we'll see. There you go. Right, and thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>